What's happening, party people? What's happening? Once again, it's your host with the most, Mr. Ron, with another episode of 40 Years of Hip Hop, where we review 1,000 songs from 1979 to 2019. And today, party people, we have Rubber Band Man by T.I. from his album Trap Music, which was released in 2003. Before we dive into this review, check out the G-Man, aka the Podcaster Master, as he does an in-detail review of this song. He really goes deep and gets that information you won't get anywhere else. Check him out at 40yearsofhiphop.buzzsprout.com. And this month, we are giving away an 11 by 17 limited edition retro poster. You can choose between Run DMC and the Beastie Boys, Summer Jam 95, Public Enemy, Eric B and Rockin, and last but not least, A Tribe Called Quest. And for the people, the only thing you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to get a chance to win. We're also working on our line of t-shirts manufactured by Champion. Check us out at 40yearsofhiphop.myshopify.com and coming soon, our Hip Hop Legends t-shirt series. Dress up your walls with display metallic posters. They come in different sizes and are easy to hang on your wall. We have produced seven original masterpieces and more are coming on the way. And party people support 40 years of hip hop as we are doing this out of passion for hip hop culture. And show us love by buying us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash 40 years of hip hop. And we thank you in advance party people. Okay. Enough said, let's get back to the reading. Party people, this is a G-Man pick, and I have to say that I'm not a huge T.I. fan. However, I do recognize what he did to hip-hop culture. Uh, again, putting Southern hip-hop uh, on the map. Uh, Co-host of uh, Netflix uh, Rhythm and Flow. Season 1 was amazing, really enjoyed it. Hopefully, we will have a season 2. Pretty people, is this song original? And if so, how? So, well, before we get into it, okay, uh, I want to say that uh, T.I., who actually went by the name of T.I.P., actually changed his name uh, out of respect for Q-Tip, indeed. And uh, also during his D boy years, he was also he also went by the name of Rubber Band Man, okay. And uh, Pharrell Williams actually labeled him as the Southern Jay Z. Quite uh, that's quite uh, quite a title. However, party people lately, Ti and his wife Tiny. Uh, if you don't know her, Tiny uh, was part of an R and B group in the 90s called uh, Escape, and uh, they've been on the news for allegations of drugging and abusing women. <clears throat> All right, party people, so at the end of the day, is this song original? And I will tell you damn right it is. This song is original for many reasons, mainly because of the production, which was handled by David Banner. Uh, at that point, so in 2003, uh, again, we kind of like grew up with New York being the mecca of hip hop. However, in 2003, uh, Southern rap since the late 90s has been slowly but steadily creeping up on the chart. And uh, again, now, most of the, the hip hop that we hear has that trap Southern uh, flavor to it. So party people, and I have to say that T.I. with that song was definitely the catalyst for that. So party people, courtesy of this cards, and this is why I give it a 4.25, and my man, the G Money, gave it a 4.5. <clears throat> delivery party people, delivery which stands for lyrics and flow. The song is about trapping, selling drugs, as the chorus shows who I is, rubber man man, wild as a Taliban, 9 in my 9, 45 in my other hand, who I is, 
Call me trouble man, always in trouble man, worth a couple hundred grands. Chevy all all colors man. So I think it's pretty uh straight up, shall we say? Alright, so let's break down the lyrics a little bit. So he goes, stay down on his grind, put the crown on the hustle, meaning that he's fine with doing whatever he's doing, okay? And putting the crown on the hustle, the crown acts like a title, you know, he's the king, you know, so hence the crown of the hustle. I could show you how to juggle anything and make it double. We blow real estate liquor store with no trouble, meaning legal or illegal. He's the hustler and whatever that he, whatever that he's doing, ka-ching, he's going to double it. Young Cassius Clay of my day, he's basically popular as Muhammad Ali, and uh, Cassius Clay is Muhammad, Aziz, uh, Muhammad Ali's real name before he basically joined the nation of Islam. Marvin Gaye of my time, a reference to the 70s album Trouble Man by Marvin Gaye, which is once again referenced in the hook by saying, call me Trouble Man, always in Trouble Man. Trying to, stay, uh, trying, uh, trying to stay alive, living how I say in my rhymes. So, party people, at the end of the day, nice lyrics. However, I feel that uh, as T.I. matured, his lyrics matured as well. Okay, and um, yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that because I will mention it later on. Of course, all of those rhymes in that southern accent courtesy of genius.com and this is why I give it a 3.25 and my man the G-man gave it a 4.25 production party people production beat mixing scratching if there's any produced by David Banner was sampled four times uh, my favorite one being uh, Girl Talks with uh, Every Day. There was also a huge uh, remix uh, of that with uh, Twista, Matt Ten, and there was another member, which I cannot remember at the time. So, party people! Lit the beat, layered synth, hypnotic organ with the vocals. Uh, okay, of course, I'm not going to sing because my singing is terrible! All right. Again, great beat. From my point of view, I think the beat really made the song. Much respect to David Banner, one of the most underrated producers, but also artists from the South. So for production, I give it a 4.25, of course, courtesy of who sampled, and my man, the G-Man, gave it a 4.515. We're, we're pretty close on that one. So, relevance, longevity. Party people, is this song still relevant? Is it? Was this song able to stand the test of time? Well, party people, the way I see it, it's a classic, okay? And again, not just a Southern classic, but it's really like over the years, it took time to mature as a just a hip hop classic. Um, not only that, but it's been on so many compilations. Total Hits 2004, Crunk Hits Volume 1, Hip Hop Hits Volume 9, uh, Complex Magazine's Best uh, Atlanta Rap Song at number 34, and also Complex Magazine Yearly uh, Top 100 of the Decade, and Rubber Man Man stood at six, play, uh, number 61. And this is why party people for relevance and longevity, I give it a 3.75 and my man the G-Man gave it a 4.25. Yeah, yeah. All right, party people. Impact, was this song impactful? Well, the way I see it, party people, T.I. surpassed uh, Outkast, Luda, to really have the crown of the king of the south from my point of view um and one more thing he released us or 
else letter to the system in 2017 again like i said i'm not a big ti fan however that album was solid hard lyricism smart stuff riveting stuff and uh, this is at that point and it's only in 2017 that i said oh okay maybe i misjudged ti so pretty people the song rubber band man peaked at number 30 on the billboard hot 100 number 15 on the billboards hot r&b and hip-hop song number 11 on billboards hot rap songs and oh yeah trick daddy that's right earlier on i said there was a remix indeed there was featuring mac 10 Twi trick daddy and twista and this is why I give it a 5 on 5 for impact. That's right, I think it's one of the most impactful songs uh, from that era. And my man, the Jew Money, gave it a 4.75. All right, party people. So in total, I came up with a 20.5 20 on 25 for a grand total of 82%. And my man, the G Money, gave it a 22.75 on 25 for a grand total of 89%. Party people, comment, you know, subscribe. Let's drop me a few lines, say what's up. How you doing? Do you even like this song? Do you even know this song? That's right, party people. So, Charles with the most. I'll be back next week. Sing, wishing you happy Honolulu. Peace, and I'm out.